Yo, yeah, what's happening guys? Welcome back to episode 4 of Far Cry 4. Uh, we are gonna go stop a non-sufficient attack on people who... There we go. This is sounds so super. And done, just like that. Okay. This bow I find to be somewhat difficult to use, in my opinion. Alright, so now we gotta go to the L, which I believe he is down here. And I'm gonna travel up there in any way I can, even if it's so unorganized. Might be just useful to actually get myself a vehicle and just travel there by quad, but I think I see where I'm going clearly as it is. Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna just, you know, grab myself down here. So yeah, this gun is actually a replica of the B-23R from Black Ops 2. It's pretty amazing to look at it from a different game and a different perspective, but the silencer and all kind of gives it away, if you know what I mean. Even in body. <laughs> Another car event, no doubt. Church, away from church. That sells guns. Of course. Well, the meek shall inherit the earth, my friend. All they need are some good guns. Revelation 5:5. 5, 5. It is the most invigorating read. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and loose the seven seals thereof. Uh, it is uh, our savior. It is our savior returned to us as a lion, a warrior. So I started thinking to myself, when the son of God is reborn, what gun would he use? When Christ returns to break the seven seals and bring about the rapture, he returns as a lion, yes? A lion needs teeth. What gun would Jesus choose? Deuteronomy 3247? For there are no empty words for you, but your very life. Or maybe Revelation 1911. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger. I don't know what you're talking about. A soldier about. knows. A soldier always knows. For we have seen the rapture and survived it. You need guns to do righteous work, AJ. For every gun is a Bible. For every bullet, a sermon. And for every radio tower that you free from pagan's lies, I will give you something. A reward. It is the will of God. Here. This is for the first one. Vladimir is under attack. We need fighters here Sabah, now. What's happening? We're under attack. Stay away. Oh, shit. He said, and then go forth into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole of creation. He freaks me out a little, that guy. Uh, of course, it replaces that gun when, with this fucking shitty ass scorpion. No offense, but I don't really fancy the fucking scorpion as it's really low in ammunition, which I know the B23R look alike in a way is not, not any better due to it's a three round burst, but 
equipped out with an extended mag, and I guarantee you it's gonna be your best friend. She was never happier than she was back then, and I should say the same for myself. We had such plans, not just for our little family, but for Kirat. It wasn't always like this. I longed for those days, but then it's too late. I tried, I really, really did, but this place is ruinous. Try not to let them drag you down, Andre. Ishwari didn't send you back here for that. I almost forgot what he looks like, but they're not jinxed because I'll probably find out soon enough. Alright, I'm here. Oh, God. <coughs> <gasps> Oh, damn. I'm here, Sabal. How can I help? Damn it. Keep your head down and save whoever you can. I'm not far. I'll be there soon with help. Oh, boy. Ooh. What? Who was it? Is it was really? it? No. Oh yeah, <laughs> get yourself on fire. Makes my job easier. Fire it. Ow. And have him chase me around like that. Chicken with the head cut off. No big deal, right? Alright, let's finish it off with the bow. I love my archery on this. Alright, damn you! Of course, I'm used to the tactical gameplay, so this kind of changes my perspective of the gameplay a little bit. Oh, yummy. Close and personal with you, boy. Oh. And just burn yourself to smithereens. A little. If there's one thing you can expect to see from my gameplays, then that's a lot of archery. But it's gonna be good archery. Oh, hello there. I suppose I just don't wait for you to drop your troops down for me just to assassinate them, right? Okay, I guess I can do that. Whenever you decide to pop down here, then we can get the show on the road. There we go. Three left, unless I can claim my arrows back. There he is. Help Braga or Badra? Where is it? I see soldiers heading for the community, Baka. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Huh? 
sir, was what I was hoping to do, but whatever. I'm coming! It's this whole time! Hello! Madra! Madra, where are you? There you are. People need to see her. It'll comfort them. She's just a child, Sabal, and she's terrified. I'll take her home, and then we'll worry about the people, okay? Thank you. You're okay. <laughs> this is what we get for rescuing Ajay. We hit Paul's house, he slaughters a village. This isn't on Ajay, it's on me. We can't worry about that now. They took the outpost, and they have hostages. Fine. The outpost first. Without it, we're cut off from the others. Come on. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> you don't get no sign of gratitude around here, do we? <laughs> oh well. Can't blame a mother for over being overprotective over her daughter, right? It's in that mother's instincts. Okay, I don't get my damn B23R back again. That was bullshit. I hate this scorpion. Um, uh, right. Yes, please. And I do believe I have the funds to forge the extent it makes, maybe? Let's see. Uh, yep. Alright, let's see what we can sell here. Hmm, not too shabby. Um, okay, looks like I'll have to save more for a recurve bow. Brother, we need to talk. Sabal, what is it? I'm needed in Banapur, and a meter is focused on the outpost. So it's up to you to help with the hostages. I know it's a lot to ask, but they must be rescued before we take back the outpost. But Amita said that- The outpost is important. But our top priority should be the lives of those hostages. The people of Kirat depend on the Golden Path for protection. We cannot let them down. Rescue the hostages, brother. Alright, so we will do the whole Reach the Mountain Hamlet in our next episode, if I can do that. Let me see here. No, that's a continuous mission. Damn it. I'll have to make this a part two. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, so welcome back to the second part. I thought I would just get myself a bit closer here. Just because it was quite a ways to drive and I can just take care of situations as they arise. No big deal, right? <gasps> Pardon me. Uh oh. There we go. Swift and silent, just the way I like it. Ooh, nice. Ah, that itchy nose. Boy. Can't scratch it now. Oh, that's what that hornet's nest was there for, huh? Oh, wait. Is he in the back? Hello? Anyone in here? I'm not Peeper Tommy, you know. I'm just here to kill whoever needs killed. <laughs> and save whoever needs saving. Cause that's just how we play as role. Oh, up there. Oh boy. Uh huh. I'm going to execute the hostage. You ain't gonna do shit there, son. All right. Yeah, you're, safe, you're doing your father's name proud, Ajay. This is what he wanted when he created the Golden Path, to help his people. Look, I didn't come here for my father, or any of this. We could still use your 
your help, brother. Look at the difference you've made. I know, I'm asking a lot from you, but helping the Golden Path will take you to Lakshmana. I promise you that. We'll find it together. Thanks, Sabal. Yay! So that completes the hostage negotiation. Ajay, it's Amita. I know that Sabal put you up to rescuing the hostages instead of taking back the outpost. It's okay. You're new here, and Sabal can be very persuasive. I just wanted to do my part. And I appreciate that, but you have to see the bigger picture. I was already making arrangements to deal with the outpost, but now I have to retask my fighters so they can protect the hostages you rescued. Protect them from what? Deplo. He doesn't like losing his playthings. Don't you see, Ajay? There was a plan, and now it's fallen apart. It will be a while before things with Deplo blow over. Meanwhile, the enemy soldiers in that outpost will have plenty of time to dig in. Not if I can help it. Ajay, attacking that outpost on your own would be suicide. Wait until we can give you the proper support. I can do this, Amita. Ajay, don't... Enough said. Alright. So that was going to conclude it there. I know that by me breaking it into two parts would have made a difference. As it's probably going to add up to the same amount of time if I would have done that conclusively. But, you know, that was kind of an extensive, but, uh... I'm going to save it there, and I'll carry on with our next episode on our next go. Thank you for watching. Peace.